Australia, follow me. I'm Grace and I want to walk, eat, meet, jump and splash my way around our beautiful country. I can't wait to meet you, so let's go! G'day team, we've travelled down to South Australia and South Australians love their sport. Cricket, cycling, footy, but today I'm dipping my toes in a different kind of activity because it's time to make a splash. to make a splash that Australia's longest <laughs> river, the Murray River. Yep, it's pretty long, stretching all the way from the Australian Alps to the Southern Ocean in South Australia. Over two and a half thousand kilometres. If you're wondering how long that is, let's put it this way. I'm 163 centimetres tall. If I cloned myself and we all lay down end to end to end to end to end to end to end, it would take approximately 1,538,650 graces to span the length of the River Murray. That is a lot of graces. Back in the day, paddle steamboats were the best way to make your way up and down the Murray River, shipping food, timber and wool to and from the station. These days, you've got some other options. Hey guys, I am so prepared. I've got all my gear and I have no idea why you're looking at me like that. Have you Googled skiing? Yeah, I do all my own research. I think you searched the wrong one. But we can sort this out. Ski rhythmic. How about first you just lose those goggles? Lose these. Meet Finn. He's 10 years old and already competing at a national level. He's agreed to give me and his mate Armitage a lesson. OK, Grace and Armitage, this is the gear that we use for skiing. This big long one here, that's called a knee board. You can kneel or lay on it and it's good for beginners. The pink and white one over there, that's called a wakeboard. Next to it is a trick ski, it has no fins, it's super slippery. Next to it are the double skis. You've got, you put one foot in each ski and we've got a handle there so that links onto your rope so you can pull yourself up and hang on to the boat. And there's one more thing you need, that's where Dad comes in, the boat. Let's start you guys off with the knee board. Paper, scissors, rock for who goes first. Paper, scissors, rock. Oh, you get to go first. All right, I believe in you. You got this. When you start, just lie down and leave it connected on the thing. And then when you feel confident, you can get up onto your knees and hold on, OK? I think 
think I need a dry out. Let's go to the shore and have a chat. Finn, Armitage, here we are in South Australia. It's so beautiful. Do you come out here often? Yeah, I come up here every weekend. Yeah, what is it about here that makes you come back? All the beautiful wildlife and the nice sounds of nature yeah, and all the good weather. Armitage, you had your first try today. Yeah, you had did some kneeboarding. How'd you find it? Yeah, it was really fun. At times, I felt like I was going to fall off, but then I just hanged on. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I was pretty comfortable with it. Tell me about the competitions you've entered and stuff. I've entered in quite a few. I've been in a couple of national competitions at best in Australia. Last year was in Perth, and I came sixth in trick skiing and seventh in sailing skiing. All right, well, Finn, I think it's time you show us some of your skills. OK. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Woo. Thank you so much for having me. It was so cool. It's been great fun. Yeah. Well, I hate to be rude, but I've actually got dinner planned, so I've got to go. Who's who is? Um... <laughs> come on, Grace, we're late. Yeah, come on, the booking was for seven.